Hello and welcome back guys. Uh, we are deciding to bring you another video today. Uh, this one's about ranking Clone Wars seasons. Uh, I'm once again joined by... Joe, Joe here. Um, we've been, let's just say we've been struggling to get out some gaming so we thought we'd just give you some content while, while you were waiting. Um, and this one will be a tier list. We'll, this one will be, we promise we'll be a lot shorter. Um, yeah, we're only under though, 10 minutes, aren't we? On that note, we'll start with the the first one. Season 1 of Star Wars The Clone Wars. Where do you think this should go? Alright, so I think it was good. There was a few dodgy episodes thrown in, but I think it was, on the whole, yeah. a pretty good uh, season. Uh, of course, it kicked off the series that we know and love. Um, I think, on the whole, I think it's probably an amazing uh, yeah, series. Yeah. The um, one point I would argue with that is that it's probably the most disjointed and sort of there's a lot of one shot episodes in there um, that kind of they started to fix it when they started to get to the later seasons but I think that maybe knocks it down a tier because obviously you've got um, like the first episode for example is a brilliant episode but it's only it's only one um, and like episode five with um, heavy uh, fives, Echo, uh, Rex, and Cody. That's a brilliant episode, but it's kind of only just a one-shot episode. So I can't, I think it's the one it shots do drop it. I agree. So I, for me, I'd put it in good. Yeah, I'd agree with that. That's a, that's a very well uh, argued point as well. Okay, season two. What's so your thoughts on season two? Well, season two, well, we had some. Quite major things happen, like the the Zillow Beast um, arc, which perhaps maybe was not the best arc, but it it was quite. I thought it was quite interesting to see Palpatine sort of couldn't resist that power that he could see in front of him, and that was quite interesting um, as a fantasy. Also, um, there was quite a f uh, there was a bit starting to get a bit more dark in the series as well, which I think is. Um, good to see that progression um, and we saw a lot more a lot more of the clones as well um, but I'm not sure where I'd put this uh, where do you think to be honest I completely agree with everything you just said I don't think there's too yeah. much to add um, it was pretty full for it wasn't it it wasn't anything yeah. like oh my god this is incredible but there was no yeah. problems with it I don't think I don't I don't I would have to argue I don't think um the the episodes, I think it was still a bit disjointed um, uh, and a bit a bit disorganised. So for now, I think put it in good. I'm not sure if it's as good as the first season though. Yeah, okay, sure. I'll put it behind uh, the first season in good. That that adds up to me. Now, season, season three. Season three. Can I just say, the first two, the first two episodes of season three, are probably the best two, in like in the whole show. Which two are the first two as well? Oh, again, sorry. Um, that's where we see the, the, um, is it, Delta, Delta Squad? Or am I making that up? Uh, well, basically, Fives Echo, um, Heavy, Droid Bait, and Cut Up. Well, we see them training. Oh, um, the recruits arc. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and by it, far, one hundred percent best. Least, that would have been so much better if, say, in season one, that episode five, the rookies episode, if that was in between that and they had that three just in a row, that would have been unbelievable. Oh, that would um, have been beautiful. And they started, and obviously we had, um, we started to see, we saw um, the arc troopers a bit more with Echo and Fives, and in that that last part of the season when they have to break out the Citadel was some of the really good episodes as well. So, where I'm do you... I'm happy to put this in goat tier, to be honest. Mm. It's a very, 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 very strong season. It's definitely, it's definitely up there. How about we no. put it in go to full of time being? Yeah, I'll put it in. If we need to change it, yeah, we can. Okay. Season, Season four. 
Now, what, what do you what do you think about it? I, I've talked quite a lot so far. So yeah. So season four to me was a not a filler season in a bad way, but it was a season to bridge the gap between all the events we saw in season three and then the sparking of the new arcs in season four, uh, five. You know, it, this was like a bridging uh, yeah. season. However, I... to counter that, I will let you finish after. We had probably one, like arguably one of the best, like set of four episodes, like an arc, uh, and that was the Umbara series. That was going to be my next point. Like, yeah. Although it is a bridge, uh, bridging series, it's not devoid of talent. Yeah. You know, like yeah. it has that Umbara arc, which was yeah. seeing clones yeah. in a new light. We were seeing uh, the Jedi yeah. in a new light. It it really didn't hold back on the punches in that one and it yeah. gave us everything absolutely um also we saw a bit of the um another contribution to anakin's sort of turn to the dark side with when the council didn't tell him about what they were doing with kenobi when he um faked his death and became that bounty hunter yeah there's uh, that famous line the uh what i wonder what else the council are hiding from me yeah which kind of there's a lot of foreshadowing um which also happened in uh, season three with the Mortis arc, which, um, which was, let's just say, it was a bit confusing, but it was really good. Yeah, um, it, it was good when you read into it, but until you do so, it's quite. Uh... Yeah, the reason why for me this won't go in, um, go is because of that sort of middle to start where it was kind of they followed the droids around a lot, and it, um, uh, we saw, uh, um. Uh, is it Commando? Commando? He was a Commando? Gregor? Um, which was really good, but those kind of few episodes, I think, just really kind of back up your point as it being filler. So Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I, I put it in, I still put it in amazing, but... Um, yeah, I but, think I would have put it in, in mm. good, but the mm. um, Byron arc has definitely dragged that up. Yeah. And obviously by, by that photo, you can see that the mall is sort of introduced towards the end of the series. Um, yeah, which yeah, the mall return. A huge, huge uh, fan service. So on to season five. Now, this one, I think it kind of had the feeling that it was going to be like it was like beginning, the beginning of the end. If you, if you know what I mean, with kind of the Jedi's betrayal of Ahsoka right at the end of the series and. Um, a lot of uh, just getting darker and darker as the series went on, um, and kind of the war starting to come, no, not come to an end, but you could see it, it was starting to, uh, both sides were starting to take, to, to starting to take its toll on both sides. Um, yeah, yeah. I think this was one of the most interesting arcs, definitely, for, it was realistic, you know, people were getting tired, um, they were just wanting the war to end. There was those yeah. movements on both sides trying to end the war. It's it was getting to the point where people were like, right, we just need this done now. Yeah. Oh, also, this has your some of your favourite episodes with the younglings where they the try to find them. Yes. Um, but for me, it kind of we had the Onderon part at the beginning, um, but it didn't. The, the series didn't really get going. I I, I felt till um, the last maybe like last part of the series so I, I have to say it would where um everyone has to see Satine get killed um yeah so I feel like maybe it's in it's, it's in good but like right at the top see I would have put it in goat to be honest I think this is one of the really one of the best seasons so should you put it in amazing behind the moon um I feel like we have to be quite harsh here and spread it out a bit. I think we should put maybe season one and season two down. Indecent, yeah. Yeah. And drop that one down to good. We're being really harsh. Yeah. Okay, now on to season Yeah, we just six. want to make clear, we just want to make clear we are not dissing any of Star Wars, uh, the Clone yeah. Wars series. They're all absolutely incredible. Yeah. We have to be extremely harsh. Um, This one, season six, now... I'm just going to say, I don't think this is very good. In compared, I, I say that, compared to the rest of it, 
it was cut short by by Disney. Um, the first four episodes were really good with five so when you found out about Order 66. Yeah. Uh, and it kind of the rest of it where um, Yoda's trying to find out how to become the Force Ghost and a bit with Rush Clovis and the Banking Clan. I just feel it's a bit, it's not It's not great. So I liked the Banking Clan episodes. Uh, yeah. I thought they were quite interesting because it was a different yeah. aspect of the war. It was like the industrial espionage, yeah. that sort of side. Yeah. Uh, however, I would have to agree it is an incredibly weak season yeah. in comparison. I think, especially as it's only half the length of season one and two, I think it's indecent, but behind those two. I can't, I can't put it in there just for the first four episodes, but um, for me, that's why I put it. Where do you want to put it, sorry? Uh, indecent. In decent. Yeah. yeah, I'd agree with that. Now then, the final season. It is, let's just say, this is goated, except for the middle four episodes, um, which are definitely what you t- what you call filler. Um, yes, yes. But, I mean, it was good for a bit of backstory to characters, and obviously we're going to get that Ahsoka series, so it'll be um, that will maybe might play a part in that. I don't, I don't know, but for me, it's the last four episodes are so good um just to, to see the end of how oh, it was how the, so upsetting as well it was yeah how the jedi crumbled basically so yeah where, where, where do you think it should go i am very tempted to put this top of amazing no i'd i'd argue it'd go after season four but still an amazing yeah yeah okay i can agree with that that's the perfect final talks it's an amazing that makes sense. So we're saying our final list would be season three, season four, the final season, five, one, two, six. Yeah, I think obviously uh, it's it's very like it's it's all about personal preference. But um, uh, let us know if in the comments if you if you agree or disagree. Um, and if you, if you want to see more content like this, obviously hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. And just uh, an additional point. Uh, I've now got a webcam, so I may, once I've got all the uh, the difficult bits worked out, I may start streaming some games for you guys. Uh, we haven't selected any weeks, and it might just be me. Some will be with uh, with Joe as well. But, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to see... Uh, what we can do with that now that we've got the resources available. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys and make sure you subscribe.